Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is binary tree zigzag level order traversal. So in this problem, we are given root of binary tree, and we need to uh, return the zigzag level order traversal. So it's level order traversal. So that means it's breadth per search, and we are, uh, it should be zigzag. So uh, we'll see what zigzag mean here uh, of its node values. That is from left to right, and then from right to left. Okay. And uh, uh, similarly for the next. So see, first of all, let's say this is the tree which is given to us binary tree. So what is a uh, zigzag level? Uh, zigzag level order. Zigzag level order traversal. So we all know what is level order traversal. So level order traversal is going level by level. So if we have to see level order traversal of this binary tree, it would be something like this: three. Then it will be 9, 20 because second level, first node is 9 and then 20. So 9, 20. And then after that, the next level. So here there is nothing. Here it's 15 and 7. So then it will be 15 and 7. So this is this is your level order traversal. But 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 here in this problem, we have uh, one additional thing which is zigzag. So what is zigzag? Zigzag means that for this binary tree. For this binary tree, zigzag will be first level as such. Next level, we will not start from left to right. That is earlier we have taken 9 node first and then 20, right? Now the next level will be right to left. So basically it will be zigzag. So first one will be left to right. Then it will be right to left. And then again it will be left to right. Then right to left. So similarly it's zigzag, alternate. So here it will be 20 that is right to left right direction to left so 20 and 9 then for the next level it will be left to right that is 15 7 okay so this is what level order a zigzag level order traversal is we have to do so whenever you find a problem right whenever you see a problem see what currently you know and then compare what additional things you have to do so if let's say this problem was simple level order traversal, simple level order traversal, we all know how we can uh, do level order traversal. So if you are not clear, just check out my channel first for level order traversal. So we know level order traversal, right? Okay. Now here one additional thing which is, is zigzag. That is, for example, let me draw the tree again. So if the tree is 3, 3, 9, one second, 3, 9, 20, 15 and 7. So, so if you have to find zigzag level order reversal, it will be something like 3, 29 and then 15, 7. Okay. Simple level order reversal will be 3, 9, 20, 15 7 okay so see see the output how the output is we have to return each level in a vector like in an array and there is a main output array which is this one right which is this outer array so what we will do so what we will do right we will be doing simple level order traversal only how we do it uh, like uh, in traditional way but we will be storing the alternate level, right? Let's say this is the alternate level. This alternate level which we will be storing, we will store it in a in right to left way. Because we want it in right to left, right? Let's see how we can do that. So let me quickly draw the tree again. See, first level, this first level will be right uh, left to right. And the second level will be right to left. Then this will be left to right. So uh, I will take a variable which will tell me in which uh, level I have to go th left to right and in which level I have to go right to left. So initially level will be zero value. Okay. If it's zero value, then it means that I will have to go left to right. Okay. If it is one value, then it means I have to go right to left. Okay. So this variable will tell me uh, in which format, uh, in which uh, direction I have to go. Alright. Now, 
let's do the traditional bfs that is breath first search so in bfs we take a queue okay we take a queue this is our queue initially i will add the root of the binary tree in the queue that is first step is queue dot push the root of the binary tree the root so here three i have pushed when i say three i have pushed it means i have pushed the entire node not just the value of the node that is i have pushed the entire root not just the root value so just make sure don't get confused here when we push in the queue we push the entire node okay why we push the entire node because we uh, afterwards we want the right and the left child also from that node so that's why we push the entire node not just the value all right awesome so this is the first uh, root value which i have pushed in the queue now let's see what we will do so if you see the output guys output has the output array this in this outer array is the output array so here i will have a let's say output array which will store all the levels so this is your output array okay so now uh, we will do the left uh, we will do the level order traversal what are the steps of level order traversal level order or you can say bfs you can say anything right level order so uh, here what we will do first of all we see the size of the queue what is the size of the queue queue size is 1 this is the first step second side step is we run a loop on the queue size to get each of the nodes so for i uh, is equal to 0 i less than this queue size i plus plus so basically we run a loop okay let me just do it like this okay then the third step is we will take the current node 3 we take the current this let's say this is a current node uh current node 3 we will see uh, and also if you see here for each level right for each level this is one level this is one level this is uh, this is one level we need a separate array separate array or vector or list anything so i will take a uh, vector in which i will be storing let's say this is my res result since initially level is zero initially i will check if the level is zero that is if level is zero it means i have to store the values in left to right way okay left to right so here this is my result uh, so here i will store this 3 in left to right do you understand just just wait for some time okay so here size was 1 and this loop run one time only this loop will run one time only and we got this result and we will store this in the output array because this is one of the one level this is one level so this output array will have one here three okay if you see the output we have this all right now let's also after this fourth step will be so you see here the step will be one second let me complete this so if level is 0 we will let's say this is res of i res of i we will store the current we will store the current node current current node will go in res of i now let's see the fourth step fourth step is traditional bf so this is traditional left or level order traversal just the extra step is this one this is the extra step which is we are doing okay for the zigzag so then it will be push the left child in the queue left of current that is current left and current right current right in the queue so currents left 3 is left is 9 so we will push 9 so when we will also pop this when we get its value right so we'll pop it from the queue here 9 will come and here 20 will come that is current right so this is one iteration and we got our first level okay and lastly fifth step is what we will do we will push this res into output because we got one level res into output okay so uh, basically this is your fourth step this will be inside the loop 
for loop this will be inside the for loop and uh, okay this is your third step push and fourth step is make the level as one basically alternate so we will make it alternate so if it's zero we will make it one if it's one if we will make it zero because for the next level it needs to be alternate so let's now let's see the next level it will be more clear just wait for some time it will be clear so see now the next level we will take uh, we will see what is the size of the queue queue size is now two so two will be queue size for loop will run for two times uh, two times because size qs is two first current is what current is current value current this will be nine current will be nine okay current will be nine we will see if level is zero level is what now level will be changed to one okay now level is one so here there will be else if level is zero else what we will do we will take a rest vector this will be a rest vector in this rest vector we will make this rest vector of size q size because these two nodes only will come here in this rest vector but we still have to know the order because it will be from right to left right so this zero one so this current node right if if level is one, we will store in res of qs minus one minus the current i. In this index, we will store the current value. That is c. Res q size is what? Q size is two. Two is the q size minus one minus the current index. Index will be initially zero. I will be zero. So zero. So 2 minus 1 that is rest of 1. Rest of 1 we will store the current node which is 9. That is here. Right. After that. After that what we will do. We will see push left of current. Uh, push uh, current left and current right. So there is no currents left. No currents right. So nothing will be pushed in the queue. Okay. Now again loop will run. Now I will become. I will become what? I will become 1. Initially I was 0. Now it will become 1. Current will be what? Current will be this node. 20. And level is 1 only. Level is 1 only. So it means in res of q size is 2 minus 1 minus index i which is 1. We will store the current value. So that is res of 2 minus 1 is 0. We will store current which is 20. So res of 0 is here. 20. So this is the new so see you will see this is from uh, this is right to left order which we have stored in this res vector now this now this for loop is done now we'll go to third step we will push this res into output so here output will have 20 comma 9 vector and level we will change again so level now will become zero okay level will now become zero and i forgot one step sorry here after this for loop We'll have to, uh, not, uh, after this level uh, level step, we have to also push the left, uh, currents left and currents right. So current was 20, currents left is 15 and currents right is 7. Okay. Now we will go to the next iteration. So this whole thing like this whole level order traversal will continue until your queue is not empty. That is all these steps right all these steps will go on until q is not empty so if you see here q is not empty as of now it's 15 and 7 there q is not empty okay so now let's see the next step let's take the uh, next, uh, next step so here uh, q size is what q size is 2 there are two uh, nodes then i will be initially 0 it will run two times for i0 and for i1. Right now i is 0. Current is 15. Level is 0. So it will be res of i. We will take a res vector. Initially of size 2. Since q size is also 2. So only two elements will go. So same. So this res vector you can make same size as q. Q size. That is qs. This one. Okay. So 0 and 1. Here res of 0 the qi is 0 will current will store here so that's 15 will come here and 
push left of 15 and right of 15 so nothing is there so nothing will be pushed this will be popped when we store here okay now again this uh, uh, loop will run i will become one current will now become seven we will pop seven and current will be seven uh, level is still zero so our res of i res of i means res of one that is here seven will get stored and push left and right of seven into the queue so seven has no left right child so nothing will be pushed and lastly third step push this res into output so this res will be pushed here in the output array that is 15 comma 7 will be pushed and level will become 1 okay now you will see the queue is empty queue has become em queue is become em has become empty uh, so it be it means that we are done with the level order we have traversed the binary tree level uh, order wise and this is our output see 329 15 7 this is the output so I hope you understood the dry run just do these steps once yourself understand the algorithm it's same as level order traverses just the extra step which we are doing is this thing this step this if else uh, sorry this if else part this one otherwise rest of all the steps are same as level order traverses so let's quickly see the code I hope you understood the dry run okay so what we are doing is this is a base case, edge case that if uh, root is null that is there is no tree just return empty uh, vector uh, then we are taking this queue which will be storing the node we have taken this output array which will be uh, array of array a uh, vector of vectors because this is outer vector and it has inner vectors then we'll just simply first of all push the queue uh, push the root in the queue and level will be initially zero which we have taken early uh, initially until this see until this queue is not empty we will take out the size of the queue which was our qs then we will run the loop based on the size of the queue take the current node so we were taking the current node right and we were checking we'll also pop it from the queue and we'll check it we were checking if level is zero if level is zero res of i is equal to current and else store the current value here and after that we were pushing the left and the right child into the queue so left and right child into the queue after the for loop so after this for loop what we were doing we were pushing the res into the output so output array we will push the res vector so i have just these are different terminal uh, variable names and level we change it to alternate so here if level is zero it will make it one because this is not right in a logical operator so if it's level is zero it will make it one or if level is one it will make it zero that is not this this is a not logical operator okay so i hope you understood the problem and at last we will return the output the time complexity since it's simple level order traversal time complexity is o of n and space is also o of n because we are using this extra vector to store the output so i hope you found the video helpful if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are play, uh, preparing for placements thanks for watching bye